So uh, hi guys, it's Bob from Greybeard Models again, and uh, I thought I'd revisit this this kit. I did an unboxing recently. I said I'll put a link in the comments below. Um, I did an unboxing recently, and it's, this is a, a really a really impressive kit. But one of the things that you have to do with kits like this is, is plan ahead. So I've got the instructions here. Let's get rid of the box. And the next thing I've got out is actually the diorama base that comes with the kit. Now this is quite a good base. I measured it up. And it's... Uh, about 24 centimeters by about 20 centimeters if we ditch this piece and just use that bit there that's terrain now one of the things that I don't really like about this is that it's a vacuum form thing um, so I don't really really want to use it so went on to the good old eBay had a look here I've actually stuck these back down and got myself a display case now the display case is slightly larger than the base these are the these are the sides of it. They're all cut and they're covered in a in a clear or in a film that protects the clear. So let's put those to one side, and this is the actual base itself. Now, the base itself, looking at it, has slots in it around the side, which allows for the sides of the display case and then obviously the lid so I'm measuring that up and that's 249 yeah 249 millimeters so a shade over 24 or nearly 25 so we had this 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 one here which was 24 24 and a, and hold on have another look 2244 4 or thereabouts and the other dimension across there and that is also well that's 25 so it's about 25 mil square now <coughs> the thing that I wanted to do with with the display case was actually have a lid on it and dioramas are great for attracting dust so let's have a look at, at one of the sides get that out and if we've got these the right way around I think this is yeah, this is one of the sides so the side stands at Twenty-five, so that's twenty-five centimeters high. There's going to be plenty of room in height and space to take what would normally fit in there into a slightly larger base. So I'm going to use this as the base. This is a plastic material, and also look at height. So the next thing that I've done is ordered, <coughs> well I say ordered, I have Mini Arts Factory Ruin, which is a tad, a tad wider than the base, but that's not a problem, because this is, this is a back form. Uh, material so what I'm going what I intend to do is make this 
factory set so that it will actually fit into this display case and then obviously because we've got some room to play with <coughs> excuse me um, in terms of the tank and the, the, the way the guys are, are working on the tank and all of that we'll have some space to actually put all of that in this space within this wall so what I would then want to do <coughs> is so that we can use this wall effectively and that will fit in there quite neatly it will mean that I've got windows here windows here a doorway here so not only will the diorama be viewed from inside the building you'll be able to see it through the windows so you, you know so that the situation is that obviously they're repairing the tank but it's in the shelter of a ruined factory building so you know the floor will need to be done the factory walls need to be completed and that will fit quite neatly into that space that's what I plan to do so I hope you find that useful um, it's all about planning ahead with the diorama um, in most cases you've got to you've got to think around how you're going to display it and what you're going to do with it afterwards and I always try and get if I'm going to do a diorama is get a case that it will fit into anyway hope you find that useful and uh, keep up as as I go each stage um, I'll uh, show you where we are, where we are and how we're going and then eventually we'll start on the construction of the whole of this sort of scene um, the other thing that I may not use I may not use all of these figures I may you change the figure configuration and whatever I don't know yet but uh, I haven't planned that bit yet anyway thanks for watching hope you enjoy it and uh, I'll see you soon. Bye for now.